Hello everyone, this is uh, Project Iceman and I'm bringing you another episode of Pokemon Rejuvenation. I mean, let's just take this time to look at my, um, what do you call it, the, my icon, or <laughs> look, at my, look at my design right there. I love it. I want to stay like this. It looks so cool. I love it. I like it. I like it. But moving on. There we go. All right, we were in the Kirigirian woods before. I guess we were doing some battles. Uh, were we heading north or were we heading south? I forgot. I don't remember if we went to the top already. Wait, are we already here? Oh, right. We just saved, um, what was her name, Antoinette, from, uh, those shift trees, those aggressive shift trees, so now we're going to go to our mansion. Okay, so, let's go up. This can't be. Shen, take a look at that. Oh, jeez. Oh, no, 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 no. This is the mansion from the sewers, the one that guy trapped us in. It has to be, there's no mistake. I, uh, suddenly lost my appetite. I don't feel comfortable being here. Hmm? What's wrong? Ah, nothing. We were just taking a look at your kick-ass garden. It's beautiful. You sure have a colorful vocabulary, don't you? But, uh, thank you for the compliment. This garden means a lot to me and my husband. Husband? Well, shall we go in? Her name is Anathea, that's right. I don't remember her from before. Maybe this is before we ran into Indrid. If that's the case, Marionette might be here as well. I'm getting major shoes, Chen. If the going gets tough, you'll have my back, right? Of course. Heh, <laughs> I mean, how could you not? I'm awesome! Crazy. Welcome to my humble abode. Hun, nothing about this place says humble. <laughs> well, this place looks very different. I guess that's a positive thing. Ah, uh, well, you are right. I suppose this place screams a lavish and luxurious hot lifestyle. But it is what I call home. Mommy? Mommy, is that you? Mommy's home! It's Marionette. Marionette? Close, but no cigar. Her name is Maria. Hi! Maria, what? This is my beautiful daughter. She is the pride and joy of the Theolia household. Go on, show these two lovely people that song you've been working on. Okay. And start! Nice. <laughs> Bravo, I say. Beautiful work, Maria. <laughs> Thank you. I can appreciate good music, and that was definitely cool, Maria. Alright, piano time is over. Go to your room and get ready. You wouldn't want to be late for Tasha's math tutoring. Okay, I'll be right back. Oh, that's kind of cute. But tutoring? Isn't Maria like five or something? If you need help with adding and subtracting, you need some serious help. Oh, you misunderstand. Maria tutors advanced calculus. What? <laughs> oh my goodness, advanced calculus? <laughs> Bruh, college. That's college stuff, man. That's crazy. Maria is incredibly intelligent for her age. She can calculate any number without thinking twice. We're so proud of her. You don't say. Anathea, what is with all that racket? I'm trying to concentrate in my study. Ah, and there's my husband. That's... Oh, I didn't know we had guests. Pardon my rudeness. My name is Vetus. Vetus, those two are, uh, Shen and Venom and Shen. They rescued me when I was attacked by Pokemon in the woods. Anathea, you know how I feel about you going out in the woods by yourself. 
Pokemon are very dangerous beings. I've even heard of t from the townsfolk that they been are becoming crisp, increasingly aggressive. Please allow me to run any errands you may you need to have done for an hour. I understand, but I promised these two a wonderful meal in exchange for saving me. Is that fine? Of course. I'm sorry, but that won't be possible. Anathea, you need to finish your obligations first. Supper isn't an option as of right now. Isn't that right, Vetus? If there is work to be done, that will be the utmost priority. I'm sorry, Anathea. It can't be done. Um, Shen, Venom, this is Gardevoir, Master Vetus' assistant. I commend your abilities, and I thank you for protecting Lady Anathea, but you aren't welcome at the moment. As previously mentioned, we have a lot of work to do. We don't have time to entertain strangers, especially you, Vetus. Speaking of which, I shall be heading into town. Anathea, is there anything you need? Just take Maria to Anastasi Anastasia's house for tutoring. That should be all. Alright, I shall also talk to Mr. Blakery about this unfortunate land dispute. Ah, uh ah. -uh. And how is that going? Not well, but I will not accept no for an answer, I assure you of that. Do not worry, and everything shall go according to plan. Have faith. I'm ready. I'm sorry, Princess. Mother can't tend to you right now. Father will have to take you to Anastasia's house. Anastasia? Why does that name sound familiar? Oh, okay. If you will excuse me. Bye, Mommy. Bye, Gardevoir. Let's just go, go over the fact that that Gardevoir is black and red. I'll be seeing you both very soon. Farewell. I apologize. It seems as though what I promised cannot be fulfilled. Um, don't worry about it. I was just super awkward anyway, and I just want to go. Um, I am sorry. Hmm. I kind of want to check this place out before I go. Look how big this place is, man. Oh, wow. I already found her. And I found a silk thread. I'm sincerely apologize for not going through what I promised. Like God, if I said, I have a lot of work to do. Please try not to break any of these glass containers. They are prized possessions of Lady Anathea and Master Lavidius. Anathea and Vetus. A rare fossil. Hey. Okay, anything else that I need to know about? Any other items that I can find in here? Tunnel complex books, tunnel complex books, a fountain in, uh, indoors, luxurious to the max. Then Anathea thinks it's important for children to lead normal lives sometimes. This is why this room was created, for Maria to reduce stress and relax. Then even I have an elevator. Oh my goodness. Okay. Pangora plush, Magora plush, Sora plush. That sounds familiar. Do your best. <laughs> Locked. Hmm. Guess I'll figure that out soon enough. Maybe when the story progresses. Oh boy, okay. Mm, 
nothing in here. Lady Anathea believes it is best to have a room to discuss and resolve any conflict. That is why this conference room exists. The white sofa is Lady Anathea's, the black sofa is Master Vetus's. Did I already go in here? Yeah, I did. Bugs. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. And I think this is the last area that I haven't seen yet. Nothing in here. This is Master Vidius's second, sec, second study. Please do not disturb any of the books or shelves in here. So have I, have I been to every room? I think I've been to every room now. Okay. Yep, I've been everywhere. Okay. Let's go. Yo, Shen, over here. That guy, Vetus or whatever. That was definitely an injury. You know, the guy who tried to sacrifice us. Kind of hard to forget something like that. Something was off about him, though. He wasn't acting like himself. Almost like he was normal? Shit, I don't know. He wasn't acting like the old, the old abusive prick we all know and hate. Maybe he was actually a decent person at some point. All that matters is that he put, he's potentially dangerous. We have to follow him or around and keep an eye on it. Huh? Malia? Nah, I don't want to involve her. I want to show her that I can be responsible. Got it? Can I be my partner in crime for a bit? Hey, sure. That's the shit I know and love. Alright, let's find this Tasia's household and whatever. Kyuhyu and Siri isn't really all that big, so it shouldn't be too hard to find. This one. I think it's this one. Oh, I see already. Good day, Katsu. Ah, Mr. Theolia. Pleasure to have your uh, presence once again. As you can see, I brought my I brought, uh, I brought Maria over to help Anastasia with her studies. That much is clear, Mr. Theoli. Please, call me Vetus. Sure thing, Vetus. If that will be all, then I must ask you to leave. I'm a very busy woman. I understand, but no, that's not all I came to talk here to talk about. Marie, why don't you go helping Tasia out? Okay, I will. I wanted to speak about the manner of how to you educate Tasia. With all due respect, Vetus, I don't think it's your business telling me how to raise my daughter. Pardon my rudeness, I did not mean to oppose. I just wanted to suggest giving her a break every now and then. A child needs freedom in their life. Anastasia is not an ordinary child. She is a genius, and I will not have her waste her potential on trivial things such as that. Sure, you're growing her book smarts, but a child needs social skills as well. Why not? You're pissing me off, Vetus. Learn your place. You can give your daughter breaks, but when, it times, when it's time for them to enter college, Tasia will be on top. We'll see how good your breaks are then. Now, as I reiterated many times before, I am a very busy woman with an agenda, I might add. I do not have time to discuss silly things with you, Mr. Theoli. If you would just do go now, thanks. <laughs> talking to her feels like talking to a brick wall. Uh, Mr. Theoli? Oh, you two. Did you hear all that? Yeah, we kind of did. Whoops, our fault. Save yourself the grief. You were going to encounter Kasu's stubbornness one way or another. <coughs> if it means anything, I thought you were 100% right. I mean, damn, kids need to re just relax. Unfortunately for Tasia, that isn't a reality. Poor girl, 
This won't do for be this won't be forever though. Yeah, oh well. Now if you would excuse me, I have a meeting with Mr. Blakery down at Blackery Co. Blakery Co. Oh right. Uh do you mind if we tuck along? Every guy needs a couple of black blackies, you know? I can't say that I do, but if you wish to tag along, I suppose there's no harm in that. Quickly now. I have to get back to home and finish up some work. That was easier than I thought. Vito seems to be down to earth guy, but what happens to him that turns him into such an ice white? I guess we'll all learn soon enough. Let's go. Blakery Co? Blakery. Blakery. I don't. I know I've heard that name before, but I can't exactly pinpoint where. Blakery. Yeah, that does sound familiar. Someone's last name was Blakery in it. In a, uh, one of our friends' last name was Blakery, wasn't it? I, who was it? Oh well, it'll come to me eventually. Uh, I guess me too. Hi! Mm -hmm. uh, hello. You're the kid from earlier, aren't you? Don't think I didn't notice you eavesdropping on this. I'll have you know that my opinion of you is very low. Good day to you. <clears throat> In, with all due respect, your opinion about everyone is very low. Now, Blakery Code, that's the place I couldn't enter uh, from before. Okay, yeah, he's gone. Ha, <laughs> he's taking a snooze. <laughs> These plans are coming together quite swimmingly. Do you think it would be weird if the moon suddenly grew a face? I'd give this place three days tops before people leave. <laughs> What's with the <laughs> What's with <laughs> the Legend of Zelda reference right there? Don't bother me right now, I'm busy. I'm incredibly glad that I get an opportunity to work at such a high-ranking facility such as this one. Oh no, I may be losing my job soon. I didn't finish what I was supposed to. Maybe I shouldn't have wasted my time looking at Pokemon battles. I wonder what this guy's deal is. Ah, Vetus. What brings you here? Well, Mr. Bakery, I'm sure you know what I am here. It's about our little disputes. I see, yes, this is a very unfortunate position we're both in. Unfortunately, I don't plan to change my decision. Um, would someone like to brief me on what's going on here? And simple, Mr. Theolia here has built a mansion on property he did not own. I bought the unclaimed territory and plan to expand Kyugirin City even further. Ridiculous! I have lived here far longer than the people of Kyugirin City! I allowed you to build Kyugain City as long as you didn't disrupt my family's personal life. But it seems none of that matters now. Allowed me? What nonsense is this? You have not allowed me to do anything. In fact, you have no grounds to. I bought this land with my own hard-earned money, the Stithiolia. I also bought the land your house is currently standing on. That doesn't matter! Can't you see this guy has a family? You're going to- You're really going to evict a family for your own gain? Well, of course not. I didn't plan to just make these people homeless. I gave them a deal. Once Kyrgyzman City is expanded, they can own an apartment free of charge. Isn't that a fair trade-off? I mean, that's a sweet deal and all, but... We don't accept. We're not moving. Precisely. I do not intend to move my family anywhere. We're staying where we are. Wait a minute. Apartment? Hmm. I know that... I'm confused now. Then what happened to that house? Why, why was it in the sewer before? I'm I'm really confused. Ah, you always have to make everything difficult. Do what you will, but you regret this someday. So that's all then? That's all. Well, fine then. We're leaving. You go on ahead and go to the mansion, Shen. I have to make a quick stop. This is getting real.
heading to the mansion. What's with the cop? Hmm. From the looks of things, it looks like I'm supposed to go that way. How do I think about it? I never did heal. There, there should be a Pokemon Center in this place, right? Let's get some nice health. H-E-A-L-F. Health. Okay, let's continue. Mm. Seems it was lagging for a second. Okay. Hmm, is that powder? Okay, no, he won't. Were you the one who put those boxes there? Nah, that wasn't me. Go for that dust charge. Bow. Main it. I wonder if what was faster. Oh, Psycho Punch. Oh, that did a lot. That also did a lot. We were trapped here, you know. I can finally leave. Hey, haven't I seen you before? Mm, not unless you're Sam. Nope. Never heard of him unless you're dead. Okay. Mm. Going to Cumulus. Slash, that's only nothing. Ah, uh, I'm actually going to effectively use Sky Attack. Bow. Reloom. Once again. Gen 3 mechanics is real in this game. That's good. Let's go to Scrub Brush. Get him some experience. Oh, those close combat. I'm dead. Oh, good. Oh. Sorry for the yawning. Damage. I can't really think of where I've seen you before. I'll remember it someday. Hmm? It seems there's a group of people past this ledge. Do you want to hide and listen in? Oh yeah, sure. It took you all long enough to get here. You made sure you weren't followed, yes? Yes, ma'am. We're clear. Are we now? If you insist, then let's begin. So what exactly do you want us to do? Why? I'm glad you asked. You four are always... You are you four are aware of the land controversy that is occurring presently, correct? Well, it seems as though Vetus is being rather stubborn and refuses to use his power to stop this. That damn Anthea. She's starting to ruin everything. We're not exactly sure what this has to do with us. I need you to forward to arrest Vetus. 
Arrest him? Why don't you just tell us why didn't you just tell us that in play first place? That's sort of our job. Correct, but that's not all. What I require is something slightly more unorthodox. I need you to crush Vetus' spirit, his reason for being so soft. I want you to destroy the mansion. Whoa, hold on there. We're police officers, not a demolition crew. Oh, but you can be. You have Pokemon, do you not? Yes, we do have, in, in fact, have Pokemon, but if you're afraid of consequences, don't be. I have you all under my protection. Plus, you do want that reward, don't you? An infinite supply of nuggets, was it? Ah, yes. I bet you could buy a multitude of luxuries with that. Hmm. <laughs> Fine, we'll do it. But after this, we don't know each other. <laughs> yes. Oh, skip some text. After this, we don't think you'll, you all will ever see me again. Or anything, for that matter. Hmm? Oh, it was nothing. Just me thinking aloud. Oh, my goodness. Evil. Well, do you all have a job? Don't you all have a job to do? I'll be waiting. Things got serious. Oh, by the way, this music, this epic music, the epic music I was playing while battling. I saw a shiny thing there earlier. Let's get that. Apartment ki Oh! I'm guessing that's for one of the apartments in uh, the city that was locked. I remember that. Uh, let's see. Let's go. Beautiful. Oh, I never battled yet. Oh, a young one. What are you doing all the way in here? Discharge. Got the paralyzed. Ooh. Well, that's not helping you at all. Gone. Sudowoodo. We played. Ooh, took it like a champ. Give me your health. Yum. <laughs> Ah, now I see. Now I see that I never get money from this game. I don't get money from battling these people from here. Is it because I'm from a different time? <laughs> Let's get this music on again. This suits the mood. Uh, I believe this was the apartment that was locked, right? Yep. These containers look familiar. Yeah, 
It's a notebook that has an extensive amount of full pages in. Read it. Meet an essentialist whom hardly. To the person reading this, this notebook was meant for you. I have studied the heart of humans in Pokemon for a very long time. The heart I refer to is not the physical one, but a spiritual one. You may even refer to it as a soul. You may have come across Pokemon with closed hearts. These are called Shadow Pokemon. Shadow Pokemon feel nothing but desire to hurt and destroy, truly and utterly soulless beings. These Pokemon are known for po attacking Pokemon and humans alike. Fortunately, a process known as purification was created to reopen the hearts of Shadow Pokemon. This created the possibility of redemption for Pokemon that thought to be far too far gone. Too far gone. Ah, uh, yes. I've come across beings with are worse than Shadow Pokemon. Beings completely devoid of every devotion, emotion excluding hatred. I think I shall call these Pokemon Dimensional Rift Pokemon. These beings are Pokemon that have their inner darkness amplified to its maximum potential. This emotion then implodes within the Pokemon. This allows the Pokemon to gain a circular orb form. Although this is the very the first form they take, it is their dormant form, and in this form they cannot do much. However, when provoked, the Pokemon can morph into their true body, born from hatred of course. This is when a being like no other appears, it is very very difficult to revert them back to at this state. Heh. But should we? It is then when they are most vulnerable. Their body is the literal manifestation of their heart and soul. It is in this form that we are able to purify them back into their original being. The process isn't too complicated either. You may not understand it, but someone will. Take this book and follow these directions. It gets really complicated from here on out, but this seems very important. Take the book? Mm, I guess so, yeah. What's the harm from taking it? A new timeline has been created. This action has for Oh! Uh, I. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. That's either good or bad. What? What? What is. Oh my. Oh my goodness. Affecting the future is not really one of the things that I was planning on doing while being here. Oh, crap. Did I affect it for the good or for the bad or what What will come of this? Oh my goodness, I have no clue. Okay. So I'm going to have to end it off here. If you guys enjoy it, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to uh, um, come up with episodes like these daily if, I, if possible. Probably along with Pokemon Reborn. Uh, this is really, really getting interesting. Very, very interesting. I w can't wait to see what happens next. So I talk to you guys later. Later.